Welcome to our lecture online. We solved this problem on the previous video. We went through the trouble of finding an expression for dl in terms of the x and y components, and then we, then we did a dot product with a force, and then we looked at the integral and then realized that the integral had two components that were opposite in size, in sign, but they were exactly the same, realizing when we integrated it, we'd get zero for the answer, so the answer for this problem would be zero. But since you're only given three minutes, that took a lot of time and probably couldn't do all that within three minutes. So is there actually something we could do to determine whether or not the answer would be zero or something else real quick? And so the idea is that if the force is perpendicular to the displacement along the path of integration from A0 to 0A, what we're doing here is we're taking a small particle of mass M, that should be an M, there we go, and we're integrating the work done from this point to this point, and the answer is, and then the question is, what is one of the, the what is the correct answer out of those four? And here's the equation for the force. So force equals some constant times this quantity right here. There's an x and a y component. So let's determine the direction of that force at some key locations. Let's determine direction of force at this location, at maybe a 45 degree angle, and at this location. So when x equals, so at the location a0, when we have x equals a and y equals 0. Let's go in here and see what that is. So force when x equal a and y equals 0 is equal to, let's calculate what that would be, and you can quickly see that would be k times a over a squared to the 3 halves power in the i direction plus 0 in the j direction. So notice that you would have a component only in the i direction at this point. So you can see that when we're at this location along the path of integration, the force is in this direction. Now let's find out what the force would be at this location right there. So now we can calculate the force at 0a. And I think you're beginning to see the pattern here that this would be k times x would be 0 divided by, uh, that would be y squared in the i direction to the 3 halves power. And of course, that would be a, y would be a. And uh, that would be plus, here we would get a divided by a squared to the 3 halves power and that would be in the j direction. So notice that we'd have no component in the x direction and only a component in the y direction. So up here, the force would be in this direction. What about at a 45 degree angle? At this point, when x equals y. Well, when x equals y, then notice f when x equals y, and I know that's not a a good way to write it, but you get the idea here. That would be equal to k times, well, let's write uh, x divided by x squared plus y squared to the 3 halves power in the i direction plus y over x squared plus y squared to the 3 halves power in the j direction. And notice that if x is equal to y, that these two components are exactly the same, and therefore the force would be at a 45 degree angle, equal components in the i and j direction, so you can see that in this case f would be perpendicular. And at that point you can assume that f is going to be perpendicular along the entire path of integration, and since the displacement is perpendicular to the force, you can then say that the answer therefore must be zero, no work done, when the displacement and the, the force are at a 90 degree angle. And that is how it's done very quickly. Of course, you don't have to go through all this. You don't have to write it down. You can simply say, hey, if x equals a and y equals 0, this is 0. This is, there's only an x component pointing this way. Here there's only y component pointing this way. Here they're equal to each other, so x and y components are equal. It looks like the force is always perpendicular along the path of integration. Answer zero. You can look at that in one minute and move on to the next problem. So you can see that this can be done very quickly. Again, if you think about it in a correct way without going through all the steps to try and figure out what the work done is by integrating it or at least coming up with the integral. And that is how it's done.